Hi, welcome back to Crates with Zed. Today we're going to take a tour of the best crates that have strange parts within them. We have a whole wide array of crates here. This isn't every crate that has a good strange in it. These are just the profitable ones, or the ones that are profitable on average. My prices are based on what there are today on March 28th, but they might change after the video, so uh, make sure you check prices before you jump in. I'll have a link in the description to a spreadsheet where you can plug in your own prices. Anyways, uh, going from the bottom to the top, we're going to be doing 25 of each crate. So the first crate here is number 38. It has the option to get a strange dead ringer, a strange quick fix, or a strange SMG. We are profiting 23% of the time. This and the next four crates will all have series two unusuals. The expected value of crate 38 is 1.29 keys to 1.37 keys. So given the cost, it's going to be anywhere from a loss of negative 0.05 keys to a profit of 0.04 keys. The next crate is number 37. We're profiting almost half the time. Its best hits are the Strange Big Earner and the Strange Bizarre Bargain. And a consolation prize would be the Liberty Launcher. And a consolation prize would be the Strange Liberty Launcher. It too has series number two unusuals. And the expected value is 1.09 to 1.12 keys. And we can profit 0.02 to 0.06 keys. For crate number 28, we're profiting almost a quarter of the time, and we have lots of great hits here. Even though we're only profiting some of the time, we have tons of great consolation prizes that are worth a key. Uh, the only problem is the crate costs about one and a half keys to open, so some of the consolation prizes aren't as good as uh, you might think. We have the Strange Shotgun, Strange Frontier Justice, Strange Jag, Strange Wrench, and we have a Mining Light, which is one of those retired hats. It's also a Series 2 Unusual in this crate. Number 33, we're profiting almost half the time. The best hits are the Strange Soda Popper, Strange Family Business, and the big one is the Strange Your Eternal Reward. It's also series number two. The biggest challenge with this crate is trying to get lots of it. Expected value is 1.93 to 2.09 keys, which means the crate itself is expensive. So our expected profit is only 0.08 to 0.25 keys. Finally, our nemesis of the channel, Munition number 92. We're profiting only 1.6% of the time, and we've got a shot at a series 1, 2, or 3 unusual. This is a highly risky crate, and you should only open it in large amounts where you're more likely to get an unusual or a strange crits crick. Given that the strange crits crick only comes up 1% of the time, um, you're not going to profit on this very often at all. It is fairly profitable on average, and you can pick it up for pretty cheap. Um, its expected value is 1.07 the 1.14 keys, and the expected profit is 0.07 the 0.13 keys. But I mean, it all all the values in the strange crits crate get that 1%. It's like a super unusual. So <laughs> open at your own risk. You can see my previous video on number 92, where I opened up 200 of these, and you can see how I did on that one. But anyways, we have some crates to open. Let me jump in game. Okay, so a quick overview of crate number 38. It's costing us 1.34 keys to open with an expected value of 1.29 keys. So on average, I'm losing a little bit. It's still fun to open though. Our profitable hits are just the strange quick fix at about three and a half keys and the series two unusual. A nice consolation prize is a strange dead ringer, which is coming up 22 and a half percent of the time. That's worth about 1.25 keys. So we'll be opening 25 of these as a reminder uh, my videos are sponsored by Manco.store, so you can buy keys on their website using the sponsored link in the description for $1.57 US. That's a buck cheaper than the in-game Manco store. And key price in metal is going to be worth 64.33 refined. Our unusual tracker is back with us at the bottom. We're looking at about a 14.1% chance to get one unusual and then a very slim chance to get two unusuals. And then three plus unusuals is not even showing up right now. So let's see how we do. Let's jump in game. We're going to be opening up 25 of these. And this is number one. We get a strange SMG. Number two. Sweet. Strange quick fix. The strange quick fix is worth three and a half keys, so we're gaining uh, 2.18 keys. 
Number three. Strange killing gloves of boxing. That's only worth a quarter of a key, so we're losing a full key here. Number four. Another strange SMG. That one and the first one is worth about half a key, but we're losing close to a full key because Costa opens 1.34 keys. Number five. Another strange SMG. Number six. Strange dead ringer. Number seven. Another strange dead ringer. Number eight. Another strange SMG. Number nine. Sweet. Another strange quick fix. Number ten. That's a regulator, that's a craft app, so we're losing 1.31 keys. Brutal. If you're interested in buying a craft hat from me, I have craft hats in my Manco store. Um, I sign all of them, and it's like giving a donation to the channel. It's uh, $5 US, so think of it like a Twitch subscription or a YouTube membership. This is a way to support the channel. So consider checking it out if you find my videos helpful. Number 11. Strange Dead Ringer. Love getting that as a consolation prize. Barely lose anything. Number 12. Strange KGB. Number 13. Another Strange Dead Ringer. 14. Strange SMG. 15. Another regulator. Ouch. We are so far are losing uh, 5.19 keys. Um, by the end of the video, um, we're hoping to get a lot more value from the strange quick fix. Number 16. Another strange dead ringer. 17. Another craft hat. Brutal. Those are only supposed to come up 4.5% of the time. Ouch. Eighteen. Another strange dead ringer. 19. Strange SMG. 20. Strange killing gloves of boxing. 21. Strange SMG. 22. Strange Dead Ringer. 23. Strange SMG. 24. Strange Quick Fix. Great. And unless we get an unusual, this is going to be a losing great. Number 25. Strange SMG. So, ouch, if you look at the uh, value opened on the left, uh, we missed about half the value of strange quick fix that we expected. So this was an unlucky batch of openings. Um, another possibility is that the odds from the wiki are wrong. Um, I doubt it given that it's been up there for so long, but I know I've personally found some crates on the wiki that are out of date or incorrect. Um, 
So I'll have to see. Maybe I'll take a look after at all my Crate 38 openings and see if it lines up with the uh, the wiki odds. Doing some st statistical analysis. Can't just guess with that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so Crate number 37. We are looking at a cost of open of 1.07 keys with an expected value of 1.12. So we're profiting 0.05 keys with each one we open on average. Um, we are profiting 45% of the time, which is coming from the Strange Bizarre Bargain at 22.5%, the Strange Big Earner at 22.5%. Bizarre Bargain is one and a half keys, and Big Earner is two and a quarter keys. We also have that chance at the Series 2 Unusual, so let's see if we can get some. It's a 14% chance we get it on this batch. We'll jump right into number one. Strange Liberty Launcher. That's our consolation prize. That's half a key. Number two. Strange Bizarre Bargain. Sweet. That's worth one and a half keys. So we gain half a key of profit. Number three. Strange Big Earner, sweet. That one is two and a quarter keys, so we're gaining a full key of profit. Number four. That's a Costa Nostra cap. That one's just a craft hat, so it'll go into my Manco store. Number five. Strange Big Earner. Sweet, another key of profit. Number six. Strange Liberty Launcher. We really just want to avoid the Casa Nostra and Private Eye. We're doing pretty good. We get another Liberty Launcher. Number eight. Oh, another Casa Nostra. Number nine. Sweet, Strange Bizarre Bargain. I know when I was searching for a war paint for my Strange Bizarre Bargain, there's not a lot of good options out there. Um, there's maybe one or two war paints that look good, and otherwise it's just the, the base skin that looks pretty great. So I guess that's why the Strange value is so high. Number 10. Strange Liberty Launcher. Number 11. Strange Blute Sauger. That one's only worth a quarter of a key. Number 12. Strange Liberty Launcher. Number 13. Strange Bizarre Bargain. Number 14. Oh, another Costa Nostra. 15. Oh, back to back craft hats. Brutal. 16. Strange big earner. Awesome. That's the key of profit. 17. Ooh, back to back. Best hit. Sweet. 18. Strange Blute Sauger. 19. Private Eye. Another craft hat. We're losing it. Number 20. That's a strange Liberty Launcher. 21. Oof, so many Costa Nostras. 22.
Strange, big earner. 23. Strange, big earner. Oops, that's actually strange, bizarre bargain. 24. Strange, big earner. Sweet. And 25. Strange Blute Sauger. Okay, so another unlucky batch. We opened up way more Coughs and Astras than we wanted to. Uh, we were about even on the Strange Big Earner, a little under on the Bizarre Bargain. So I think that's where our loss is coming from, uh, as well as a couple keys from the Series 2 Unusual. Two unlucky batches, not a great way to start a video. Let's see if our luck turns around. We're going to jump over to crate number 28. So crate number 28, our cost opens 1.38 keys, and our expected value is 1.48 keys. So we're looking a little more profitable at 0.11 keys. Chance to profit is 23.16. That's mostly coming from the Strange Jag. Um, the other items are pretty much break even. Uh, Strange Shotgun and Strange Frontier Justice are both about the cost to open. And we also have the Mining Light, which is a consolation prize 4.5% of the time. That's a retired hat, so it's holding its value quite well. The Strange Wrench is also a consolation prize at one key. So the only bad hit is the Safe and Sound coming up 4.5% of the time. So we're hoping to avoid it, hoping to get some lucky opens. We really want to be focused on the Strange Jag though, that's our best hit. Okay, crate number one. Strange wrench. This is a such a lovely engineer crate. Number two. Strange jag, awesome. Number three. Strange frontier justice. Sweet, very winning so far. Number four. Another strange jag. Excellent start. Number five. Another frontier justice. Number six. Ooh, another strange jag. Excellent. We're crawling our way back up. Number seven. Strange Frontier Justice. Number eight. Oh, safe and sound. Hate to see it losing the full key there. That's the risk you take with this crate. Number nine. Strange Frontier Justice. Number ten. Strange Wrench. Number 11. Strange Shotgun. Number 12. Strange Frontier Justice. Number 13. Another Frontier Justice. 14. A third Frontier Justice in a row. 15. Oh. Another safe and sound. Brutal. 16. Sweet. Strange Jag coming back to save us. 17. Strange shotgun. 17. Or 18. Strange Frontier Justice. 19. Strange wrench. 20. Another strange wrench. 
21. Strange Frontier Justice. 22. Strange Shotgun. 23. Strange Wrench. 24. Strange Jag. And 25. Strange Frontier Justice. Okay, so we certainly got luckier on the Frontier Justice, a little less on the Strange Jag and Shotgun. Uh, we didn't see any mining lights, didn't see any Series 2 Unusuals. I think the Safe and Sounds hurt us the most. Um, we got two of them, which was quite unlucky. Um, okay. Let's move on to crate number 33. For crate 33, our cost to open is a whopping 1.85 keys, but our expected value is 2.09 keys. So it's an expensive crate, but it's got expensive items. Our chance to profit is 45.66%. That's coming both from the strange soda poffer at 22.5%, being worth 2.5 keys and the strange your eternal reward at 22 and a half percent being worth about four and a half keys um strange family business is a consolation prize at about a key and the strange amputator is a poor hit we've got two craft hats to watch out for the german gonzola and the magnificent mongolian and we've still got that series two unusual let's see how we do number one Strange family business. Number two. Ooh, strange your eternal reward. That's like a third or a half of an unusual. Worth four and a half keys, we're gaining 2.69. Number three. Wow, back to back eternal rewards. Here we go. Number four. Strange Soda Popper. Their second best hit. We're gaining almost a key. Number five. Wow. Another Stranger Eternal Reward. Our value opens is just shooting up. We're almost back to break even. We're at... Uh, a total value of 99 keys, which is a loss of about 5 for the video. Number 6. Strange Amputator. Not a great hit. Number 7. Strange Family Business. We're losing uh, 0.8 keys on those. Number 8. Another family business. Number nine. Third family business. Number 10. Wow. Another strange or eternal reward. They're coming up uh, a quarter of the time, but we're, we're getting them way more for our opening. So I'll take the luck here. This is great. Number 11. Wow, that is phenomenal. Another strange year eternal reward. Wow, <laughs> three in a row. That is phenomenal. We're almost at break even. This is going quite swimmingly. The uh, reason the strange year eternal reward is so expensive is because it's not war paintable. Uh, so this is the only way to get a strange one. Number 13. Wow, four in a row. All right, this is great. We might uh, crash the market a little with the amount we have to sell, but uh, it's all part of having fun. Number 14. Strange Soda Popper, our second best hit. 
Sweet, we're at a profit for the video. We're up almost three keys. Number 15. Another soda popper. 16. Strange family business. 17. Wow. Another year eternal reward. 18. Strange amputator. 19. Strange family business. 20. Strange soda popper. 21. Another family business. 22. Strange amputator. 23. Strange family business. 24. A strange amputator. And 25. Another strange amputator. Okay, well we were profitable for the video for a little bit. We're back down to a loss of two keys, but that was a phenomenally lucky batch of crates. We missed a little on the soda popper, but we way overshot on the uh, Stranger Eternal Reward. Um, although we're at a loss for the video, we're way up for this batch. I think we were at a loss of like 10 keys when we started. So we're <laughs> gaining at least eight keys in this batch. Fantastic. Hmm, okay, just when I thought my mood was up, we are faced with our nemesis, munition number 92. Now, this is one we've opened 200 of before, and I'll spoil that video for you right now. It did not go well. We got to learn a little lesson about variants and how this isn't gonna work out for us sometimes. So for this one, we have 25 to open. We have a 1.66% chance of profit. My unusual tracker is modified a bit here. It's going to track both the uh, unusual and the strange crits Craig. So we have a 27.8% chance of getting one of them. We have a 5.6 chance of getting two of them. We have a small minuscule chance of getting three of them or more. Um, so we'll see how it goes. There are a ton of stranges and none of them are really worth anything uh, other than the strange crits Craig, which is like 86 to 92 keys um, and the series 1 to 3 unusual which is worth about 20 keys on average uh, any consolation prizes not really the righteous bison is expensive only because it's rare not because it's good and maybe the buff banner and cloak and dagger but really we're just going to speed through these if we get a strange crits great great if not i expect to lose the uh, full 25 keys here so this is a wonderful lesson in um, expected value is positive here. On average, we're gaining 0.13 keys, but on average, we're also not getting the strange crits Craig <laughs> or an unusual 65% of the time we're getting nothing. We'll roll the dice here, see what we get. Number one. Strange Dalakos bar. That's worth nothing. Number two. Strange Wrangler. It's worth a third of a key. Number three. Another chocolate bar. Number four. Strange Warrior Spirit. Number five. Strange Apocophis. Number six. Strange Candy Cane. Number seven. Strange red tape recorder. Again, 
most of these aren't worth anything. Number eight. Strange candy cane. Number nine. Strange apocophis. Number ten. Strange candy cane. Number eleven. Strange Dalakos bar. Number twelve. Apocophis. Number thirteen. Strange candy cane. Number fourteen. Strange Shahancha. Fifteen. More Opaco Fist. Brutal. Sixteen. Ugh. Seventeen. Strange Buff Banner. That's worth a quarter of a key. 18. Strange Apocryphus. 19. Strange Warrior Spirit. Oh, I realized I had the unusual tracker off the whole video. My bad. Um, we're down to a 9.2% chance for the rest of these. Number 20. Strange red tape recorder. 21. Another red tape. Come on, last four. They gotta do something for us, right? Okay. Number 92. You got this. Strange candy cane. I didn't have it. Uh, I had my keys wrong. Okay. 92. May I introduce you to this key? Strange red tape recorder. Man. Okay. Which key is going to do it for me here? I think these two will meet. Strange apocophis. Okay, the last one's here. You can do it. Strange candy cane. All right, well, that was a great way to burn 25 keys here. We remain unconquered in our challenge to uh, open up 92 successfully. Um, but here's everything we opened. Uh, I think the only one that went well was the... Um, th all the strange, your eternal rewards. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them out of 25. So that was a pretty good opening. Uh, the rest were below expectations, especially munition number 92. Um, you can see all the value opened on the left that we expected, but we didn't get. So anyways, I'll go throw up the craft hats on my Manco store. If you want to help support the channel, buying one of these for five bucks really helps out. It lets me do things like open up more of Crate 92 <laughs> without feeling totally horrible about it. Okay, um, in terms of our total value opened, we got 116.01 keys and our total value was 140.21s, so we lost 25.79 keys. And yeah, that's it for the video. As a reminder, here's um, all the crates again. Um, I think crate number 33 was probably our, our favorite one there. We'll see how long after the video comes out, it'll stay profitable. Um, reminder that the prices do change when my videos come out and you'll have to check the description and uh, maybe copy the spreadsheet, plug in your own prices, see if it's still worth it for you to open. 
Um, I know personally I have a bunch of crate number 28, uh, but it's all stuck on my bot, which just recently got a trade ban uh, with all of the other TF2 Autobots and uh, skin port and all those bots getting locked up in band waves. Um, we still haven't figured out as a community what's going on with that, um, but I don't feel like we've done anything wrong. It's just the security heuristics that are catching us, thinking that our accounts are compromised because you know, running a trade bot does look a lot like your account's compromised. <laughs> I just, yeah, I like to uh, fully disclose what I've got in my inventory. You can always check my inventory or my bot's inventory using the links in the description so you know I'm not trying to manipulate you into buying these these crates for my own purposes. Um, I'll probably open up all those crate 28s on my own eventually, whenever it's profitable. Anyways, that's it for today. Make sure that when you're choosing to do stuff like this, that you're not under the control of gambling addiction, that you are making a choice to have some fun. You're making a choice, understanding the risks associated with uh, opening any of these crates. And just remember, you don't need a shiny hat to feel good about playing the game or anything like that. A lot of the fun of gambling comes in that moment between when you open the crate and when you uh, find out what the result is. It doesn't last too long. And when you open up the Mission 92 and you don't get anything great, you can feel really horrible. Um, I feel fine, but I don't want to like trick my viewers into, uh, you know, gambling on a bunch of Munition 92 and then feeling really bad about it. So just make sure you're making the right choices for yourself, taking care of yourself and your body and your finances. That's it for today. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>